Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of No Man's Sky. This with Alan Paul. So this is a sub bonus type of mission in regards to the regular playthrough. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the scientific research. <clears throat> so as you know, in one of my most recent previous episodes, um, we're tasked with starting up our base by Apollo, and we are acquiring people. So I'm not going to focus on the Overseer as much as the Overseer will blend into all the other missions that you're going to be doing. So this mission, this particular episode, is going to be focused on your Corvax scientist. And we're going to go through all the little submissions in regards to that, get that up to snuff. So we'll be doing those right now. Um, as you know, I started with, on one of my previous episodes, uh, had to find some marrow bulb for him. So as soon as I acquired him from the station, came to my base, got the marrow bulb, came back, and immediately he said, something's not right. i got to get my brain realigned with the rest of the Corvax population. So you happen to have his core, and it, you've been tasked with going to a transmission tower. So that's where we're picking up right now. So I've got that mission selected, that submission, and we're going to head to that transmission tower. Now, we could head there on foot. Um, transmission tower is eight minutes away, but I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> you have a ship for a reason, folks. Use it. Because that way, <clears throat> it only takes seconds. Now, because you're in a normal playthrough, uh, most of your... most of what would cost you decent amounts of money... would as far as like fuel and uh, pardon me as far as fuel is concerned as far as uh, uh your thrusters and stuff like that they don't cost too much so you notice that it told me to land here but it gave me the approximate location i wanted to show you this real quick so if we use our finding it tells us that there's something within this range over here we're about 250 away so you kind of going ahead in this direction but you can already see that there's something like right there I already saw it in the distance. I'm sure you did too as I was landing. So we'll go ahead and take the long way. Now I have a lot of upgrades on my jetpack, so I should be able to get where I need to go. So you can see here is a transmission tower. Now, a couple of different things you can do. I can leave my ship there. See, it tells me that that's where I need to go. Or I can head over here real quick and call my ship in. Because I happen to have because I happen to have navigation data on board. So I can call my ship in as long as there's enough fuel in its thrusters. So a little something there on the side. Okay, so here we are. Doors open. That happens to be a Vakin standing there. And here's where we need to go. Now, normally, if you find these in, the, in regular playthrough without um, any storyline to worry about because you've completed the storyline if you can find one of these transmission towers specifically uh you will find something very special you usually find a crashed ship and that's a great way to get resources and to upgrade your your ship which i might try to do as well let's see how it happens let's hear the judgment we it says i prepare to insert the corvax intelligence core into the transmission tower the judgment of the core convergence awaits hear the judgment terminal online connection established Error. Diagnostic Corvax science unit corrupted by traveler interaction. Whoa. Personality overridden. Anomaly involvement detected. Solution. Quarantine Corvax science unit come from convergence. Observe. Analyze. Silence. Well, uh, Corvax are acting like the mafia here. Uh, we're going to view them. Keep an eye on what's going on. We'll analyze the data and then... He's going to uh, find himself stabbed 27 times in the back, rolled himself up on a carpet, and threw himself into a river, into a river, a terrible suicide. Hypothesis. Sentinel. Atlas. Universal foci. Countermeasure in progress. Risk assessment. Entropic. Galactic destruction. Rebirth. So it senses that we are going to, that the traveler is going to cause galactic destru destruction and rebirth which should start to give you a clue as to what's happening here. Error. Atlas. Error. 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 They see you. Leave. Yeah, that's not creepy at all, right? 
So while we're here, let's just take a look at what this is. Whenever you go to these transmission towers. Oh, okay. Interesting. Terminal continues to broadcast the signal, but there is no response. The radio waves make their way across the void unanswered. Broadcast personal communicator ID. What happens? There is no reply. Okay. These transmission towers, though, can find us wrecked starships. Sometimes it's abandoned buildings and things like that, and they're not always that great. Um, but the wrecked starships, they may not be worth much. Sometimes you find something really good. Very rarely will you find an S-Class crash starship, but when you do, mark it. Find some way to mark it with a save, save beacon or something like that and report it to the No, uh, to the no Man's Sky Coordinate Exchange, and NC, uh, the NMSCE. Because uh, that's very handy. People look for special ships out there on occasion. All right, so we have the scientific research. We're going to go to the scientist, which means going back to our base. Uh, right there. No reason to go to space. It only takes a few seconds back and forth. All righty, there we go. Blip. And we're heading in. That's kind of creepy, huh? Operator entity Kudempo's shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. Trapped into inside the data core, I have no way of knowing how the Corvax has taken the encounter at the transmitter. Reinsert core. Shell reconnection in progress. So you'll look at the bottom right and it tells you the boot time remaining is an hour and a half. So you consult the log to ins and select another task. Now this is what used to happen with the computer, with your main computer core. Uh, when you check it out, uh, your base computer that is, and you check out, and it usually gave you a timer. You'd, you'd, you'd communicate with it, it would give you a task to do, you'd do the task, and it'd say, okay, we're on a cool down timer of, of 15 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half, three hours and real time. So we literally have to wait an hour and a half of real game time in order to complete the next task of this. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to continue with the next task. And that is, since scientific research is on... Wait a minute. It says it's on a timer. Okay, no. Let's just see what happens. I'm curious. Okay, good. I should let the Corex get on with their business. Okay, so we do have to wait. I wondered about that. So we can't do anything right now. So the next thing that we should be doing is we should be expanding the base even further. So let's keep expanding the base. We'll talk to the Toilgek. Things are going well, Fred, but it, has, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. Great grammar. If I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march on fate. Yes, I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. <clears throat> Excuse me. The overseer asked me for microprocessors in order to design a weapons terminal. The scientist should be able to assist with the task. We're going to accept that. Toilgek Hay has been helpful so far. I have no reason to distrust them. I shall find them the microprocessors they need. Dee -dee -dee. Now, if you remember, I happen to have five on me already. At least in my starship. And I've got one over here, which I'm going to put into my starship as well. It doesn't belong there. I forgot i got a few things to get rid of here. There we go. I'm going to hang on to the Pugnium because uh, it becomes necessary to use that. Uh, the Cobalt is not necessary to keep in your inventory. And I'll keep the Chromatic Metal for now. Usually I put it in my starship as well. But my starship is going to be getting low on um, space soon. Yeah, 10, 10 spaces left. We'll keep those, and we'll keep that. These can go. I don't need them for anything that I'm aware of. And I don't, I, it doesn't take much to get any more of those. Okay, the rest of it we'll keep here. Uh, uranium is not something we use. Well, we do use it as building certain items, but we'll leave it down here because it use, we use it to uh, recharge certain things. Oh, that needs to go into the ship. We're going to keep this over here. All right, <clears throat> everything else is arranged. Sorry, had to do it. Okay, we return to the Overseer. Uh, I trust our new Corvax friends was helpful. They are merely the start of our merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? The Overseer asked for the microprocessors so that they can finish the plans for the weapons terminal. 
you the microprocessors. You have done so well, friend. I am so very happy. He sounds happy, doesn't he? Don't I sound happy? So here we're going to build a weapons, weapons terminal. We need chromatic metal and, of course, pugnium. Now, imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you. You punish it, reward it, reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. So it is with the sentinels and their attacks, but no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The overseer requires me to kill sentinels and bring back their pugnium. I accept that. The sentinels have harried me the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. Harassment, depending on how you like to say it. So we're supposed to go out and fight some sentinels to get a pugnium. Now, we, as you know, we've already done that. So let's wait a few extra moments. Imagine we run out. Blam, 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 blam. We've gotten the pugnium. So our next task is to build the weapons terminal. I'm still waiting for it to figure it out. Let me just see if there's anything over here. Building the weapons terminal. So we need to build the weapons terminal. That's our next thing. We got the pugnium. I'm just waiting for the tasks to catch up. It usually takes a couple moments. There. Okay. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh? Their pugnium? The overseer, in something of a state of excitement, ask me for the pugnium I've gathered. Give the pugnium. Well, Glek Hay presents me with a reward, as I knew they would. Friend, there is another matter. I give you the means to create a weapons terminal, did I not? Yet I see no Viking in attendance. Does my help mean so little to you that you would tarry so? You must recruit an armorer before we can proceed. The overseer requires me to build a weapons terminal, recruit a Viking armorer from my base. Accept. Splendid. I do enjoy our Viking friends. We shall all live in harmony, I think. Okay. Oh, we've got Toxic Protection Level A. That's not bad. Do I already have Toxic Protection? I do, and it's a S class if I remember correctly. Yeah, Supreme Upgrade. So we will sell this. You can add it in there, and it gives you double the protection, but you, you really don't need it. One is usually more than enough. Okay, so we've got to build the weapons terminal, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll find that under this area here even though it doesn't look like we have it. There it is. So we're going to go with the weapons terminal. We don't need the base salvage capsule. Okay, Weapons terminal is all we need. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'll put it right here. And our next task should appear any minute. Can I... I'm curious. Can I build anything yet? Nope, I didn't get windows yet. Okay, I'll get windows later. Okay, it's not proceeding. Let's make sure. Oh, where? Because it bounced back to expanding the base. Sometimes that happens. You got to go back into log and reselect something. Uh, so we got to go hire staff. It should give us a clue. Hire a base armor. Hire staff from space stations. Let's start heading over to my ship. Up. Oh, it's already pointing upwards. So it's going to point to. Well, I'm going the wrong way. It's going to point to our space station. Um, we could take a ride there. But I'm going to go the shortcut way. Let's take our terminus. Portal? I don't know what you want to call this. We're going to go space stations. And you notice it tells us where we've been. Signal echo coordinates. That's not important. That's for our pirate missions, as you can see. You can get to pirate space stations only from your own personal terminus. You can't get there from a space station. It'll tell you it's blocked. And from the pirate space station, you can't get to regular space stations. It'll be blocked. You can only get to all of them from your own personal terminal. Keep that in mind. So we're going to go to our current system. The best part about warping to your own personal system space station is that it is instantaneous. It goes much quicker than anywhere else you're going to go, including going back to your base. Where is he? Oh, I think he's up here. Yep, he's up there. Sorry. My bad. <clears throat> Passed by it about three times. And here he is. Conscript. Glaping. Your geck servant told me you were coming into Loper. It is an honor to meet one with bloodlust ex whose bloodlust exceeds even my own. Gra, we shall kill together for the glory of her and our ancestors. I'm telling you, man. <clears throat> Credit where credit's due. <clears throat> Star Trek being a great uh, universe and everything like that. I swear these guys are just the Klingons of the No Man's Sky universe. And that may be where, you know, Sean got the idea from. I have no idea. 
A great sentinel hunt begins. Crumb, let us inhale the requisite gra-gra. Okay, not sure what the heck gra-gra is. <clears throat> the Viking is old. It is not their skin or appearance that suggests this. These beings are too alien. Too unusual for me to make a judgment on that basis. No, it is the way they hold themselves, the way they speak. They do not posture when they smile at me and tell me it is an honor for us to meet. I believe them. Conscript Glaping promises to come to my world and make use of my new weapons terminal. Accept. Gra, I will rejoice in the blood harvest. But tell me, do I need to pay for my own transit? Okay, I'm not even going to bother questioning that. Let's go ahead and run back here. We, yeah, we already got his. That's right. Terminus. So we're going to go back to our main base. We could, you know, select these things here. Other bases, space stations, your bases. So here's where we're headed. <clears throat> we can even go to our freighter. You know, our freighter's in another system. We ought to call it in so it's over here. I know there's nothing in its hyperdrive, but it shouldn't use any fuel, if I remember correctly, to call it in. All right, step off of that. We're going to go there in just a second. Let's call it in. In case you've never done that before, summon vehicles, your ship, your exocraft, your freighter. Oop, right there. And let's pop them into existence. I think right, right up here would be good. There you go. And the little frigate sort of pop into the one. There it is. It just pops in. we got to get some more frigates, and we'll get those later. Okay. So we've returned to our base. Let's make sure it's still... Yep, it's still selected. And we're going to go meet him now. Hey, look. He's made himself at home. These facilities are glorious, but know that we Viking exterminate worlds that show even the merest hint of weapons production. Consider yourself lucky that I am your friend, gra ha 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 Violence must be ended. This is the way of... Derndog... This is the way of Herc. When murder is gone, the last weapon fired will be at the Viking ourselves, having served our holy purpose. As a gesture of peace, the armor offers me a piece of exosuit technology. They are keen to demonstrate they are more than a simple warrior. Accept the gift. Gra, wear it with pride. Now, before we can begin our work together, there is something we must deal with. Viking High Command would not permit me to reside here and ignore my purpose until over. I have discovered a weapons factory nearby, and to sabotage it would demonstrate our worth. While you are there, perhaps you may also learn something useful to, for yourself. I learned that the Viking believe there's, that no other species should be able to hold weapons, that after the atrocities committed by the Gek, only Viking should be trusted with arms. Huh. Interesting. The armor gives me the location of a nearby weapons factory, claiming it is operating illegally. If I go there and shut down production, I may be able to extract a valuable blueprint. Accept. Gra, go with honor, but be wary. The eye of the sentinels will be upon the facility. Okay. Toxic protection module again. Uh, so we got two of those now. And worth about 600 nanites. And this one's worth 480. So, you know, making a little cash here. In nanites, anyway. Alright, how far away? 9 minutes, 35 seconds on foot. Hopefully this is not a place we've visited before and destroyed, because if it is, it makes the next part of the mission very difficult. Because then we have to find another one. A little hazy on this moon. But I like the fact that everything's really close by. Uh, so it says it's nearby. I'm not going to land there and search, because it's obvious that it's right there. So, we'll land over here. Now you notice there's sentinels floating around. So if you run across these places, uh, abandoned, they're kind of abandoned factories. You'll usually see from a distance. Yeah, let's go ahead and let it acquire its signal so we can get rid of it. Okay. So now when we acquire this, you're going to see that there's a sentinel there and another one over there. There's usually at least two. And occasionally, if you look around, you might find a quad floating around. Depends upon the planet. Now, as soon as I try to enter this place, like, watch this. Oh, there's another one over there, too. You'll see it's a reinforced door, so I've got to shoot my way in. So guess what? 
As soon as I do, these guys are going to attack. So, here we go. And if you go right in there, you notice that a whole bunch of them showed up. And they will actually sometimes fly inside, but they can't see you inside a building, so keep that in mind. A lot of noise going on. Gather resources while you're here. Let's read the word of the day. With. Get some nanites. Let's increase our standing with the Viking. Or whatever system this is. Yep. And you notice that the countdown timer is done. So now we can step outside without being attacked. See? It was hanging around the door. And they're not even trying to attack me right now. So we could have a nice sentinel battle if we wished. We're going to hold off on that for now. Because trust me, that's... I love doing that, but I'm not going to do that at this time. That's a going to take too much time on our out of our thing here. Uh, production status, 95% efficiency. The factory is indeed engaged in the production of illegal weaponry, just as I by Keen claimed. I should shut down production and see what can be gleaned from the systems. Override production. The new blueprint accepted, beginning fabrication. I'll override the production line, substituting their blueprints for something more harmless. The factory will produce light bulbs, at least for now. I take a copy of the weapon blueprint previously in production, although I cannot understand it. Leave. That's it. Now we could stay and try to get more out of this. She has been retuned. I especially hope it will make the world a better place. <laughs> I can reconfigure it for something else. Well, that's hilarious. I'm going to configure it for art. I mean, hey, I like food. Don't get me wrong. I've been dieting like crazy. I've lost over 30 pounds and I'm feeling really good. So I'm not going to do it for food. Let's do it for art. The production line reconfigures itself with ugly raw materials to create an endless parade of beauty. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. That's great. <laughs> ah, it's getting better than that. And as you, if you want, go ahead and do the save and chart. You'll get navigation data. Ten more nanites. The discovery. It's telling you what time I'm playing. It kind of gave that away, didn't it? Yep, 8 o'clock in the morning here. Kids are on vacation, so uh, they're, of course, asleep. And we're on our way back. And we're going to go that way. All right. On our merry. Love these ships, I really do. Oh, I landed at the wrong pad. That's all right. Not like nobody else is ever going to land here. I wonder if someone will land at the other pad if I leave it empty. That would be neat. Okay, let's head out. We could go to the base computer archives, but I'm not going to do that right now. All right, back to our buddy. What's he have to say? You have shut down their pr production, Interloper. Perhaps we shall make a Viking of you yet. Eh, confirm. Excellent work, Interloper. Gra, did you obtain any technology of our own? Here, I will decrypt it for you. We shall continue your training. Weapons are nothing without usage, without the glory of righteous war. So we get an economy scanner, which is very, very handy. I'm going to go ahead and grab the microprocessor to put it in, because it's going to be handy to check out systems before we arrive. Steal yourself, Interloper. Pirates have discovered our world. Gra, they will provide practice for your weapons. Attack attack burn their hives of villainy and sin let them know that this is no one's sky but ours nice like the little plug that they put in there for own for their own game it's kind of watch like watching a, a channel on tv and then then broadcasting what channel it is and how it's great to watch their channel it's like yeah but i'm already watching it so never understood that kind of commercialism but anyway moving on as they tell me of the pirates, the armor begins to shake. I have not seen such passion, such hatred expressed in them for any other being. The armor alerts me to the presence of pirate ships orbiting this world, asking me to go and fight them. Agree. Gra, fight well, interloper. Destroy them before they draw more sentinel attention to our own world. <laughs> but we are going to get that upgrade. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop in here. As time goes by, the... Uh, trade terminals inside the trading post here will repopulate. Uh, go ahead and grab it. Uh, there it is. Oh, they got 180 of those things, huh? I'll just grab one. 
And then it means I know I can grab a whole ton more later. I can also get 82 up exosuit upgrade charts and upgrade the exosuit beyond belief, but I'm going to hold off on that. So let's go ahead and install this in my... Hmm. Yeah, we got a little bit of a problem here. We have no room. Shield strength 12, 17, 30... How's my shield strength? 273. It's normal mode. I'm not going to... You know what? Rather than getting rid of this completely, I'm going to store the technology. And we will put it in later. Put that down here. And we will install the teleport receiver over here. Economy scanner. Pardon me. And one wiring loom. And now this, I think, is handier than the other things, and hopefully we'll get this upgraded. What I'm going to do is at one, one point I'll do a small video on how to upgrade your starship, and we'll do that real quick. I'll probably do that today. All right, moving on. Let me get out of here. So that's upgraded. It's going to choose another, and you get this, the famous music in the background indicating you've completed something. So it jumps immediately to a leap in the dark, but we want to try to continue the weapons research line of thinking here. Okay. So we got to go to space. Mm, ship over here. And we'll go fight some pirates. And that's where we're going. Uh, let's see, where are they? It shows me the icon, but I can't find it here. Hold on, I must be looking right at it. And you guys probably see it before I do. It shows the icon, but I don't see where it's at. Did it readjust? No, it didn't. Do I have to scan? No? It should be down here. Let's take a look. There's my ship, there's my base, there's the tower. <clears throat> and if I move away from the planet, it shows it's completely on the other side of me, so it should be over this way. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. I'm sure you saw it before I did. Uh, we'll go at regular speed. I'm not going to pulse out. And we're going to be probed as well. Let's hang out for a second let this finish. I don't have anything on board that they're going to find. Better proceed. Thank you. Okay. Where'd you go? There you are. Been a while since I fought this way. One down. Now there may be more than the two. Try to go through their broken trail, because you can pick up stuff. Oh, we turned to the armor. Okay, so it's just the two of them. There we go. Yes, I use the pulse drive whenever I can. Uh, let's see, which one's mine? Right there. back. Let's go check out how we did. There we go. Is it done, Interloper? Have you purged these vile beatings from... Be beatings? That was pretty good. Beings from our air? Confirm. Grah. Well, Ford Interloper, to be young, to kill again, grah, how I envy you. Interloper, there is both good and bad news. Some of the pirates appear to have fled your wrath, but this merely delays their righteous extermination. 
hunt them down, interrogate them for potential weapons technology, and then consign them to the Great Abyss. Gra. Conscript Glaping is clearly possessed by the thrill of the hunt, but this energy cannot disguise the fact that they appear to be weakening. Has residing here in my base caused them to become ill? This is important. The armorer wishes for me to find one of the escape pirates and take any technology they might possess. Except, This is your prize into look for weapons technology and a pirate to do with as you will. Gra, make our ancestors proud. Okay. So, we're a half hour into this so far. So, we're going to keep going for the time being. Coordinates received. Jump in the ship. Head to the coordinates. They should be close by. Let's see how far. Yeah, that's right. They're at the other, uh, the other location here. Uh, should be, I think, yeah, it's always going to be at a minor trading, minor, a minor outpost, pardon me. <clears throat> They'll be inside. And you're going to see the icon pop up as soon as I get out of my ship. See? So it's the guy that's present in here. There he is. Hey, while we're here. And, no, I don't want to sit in a chair. Thank you. Grah, foolish interloper, you have ruined months of casework. Noble Viking officer was undercover with pirates. Had almost traced the fugitive I seek. The cult should, cultist of knowledge should not escape our justice. Of this you can be sure. Grah. Whoops. The life form throws their advanced survival data across the room in anger. They claim to have been undercover, trying to trace a faction known as the Cult of Nal. The association between the pirates and this Nal appear to be unclear. However, it does not seem wise to question the Viking further. I accept that. I take the advanced survival blueprints and leave. There is nothing more for me here. And there truly isn't. So, let's go ahead and move on. No reason to stay. We can check out the weapon in the weapons terminal, but it's probably nothing more than what I've got already. So, yeah. Pretty much the same. So, I'm going to go ahead and exit. And we're going to head back. See? Remember that place? Yep. That's where we were. Want to land at my landing pad? I just want to get that right there. I had to focus for a second. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is always a little bit rough in the mornings. A little more hydration. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk to our weapons terminal dude and see what he has to say now. It is done then? Whoops. I clicked a little too quickly. The armor begins to cough. They do not appear to be in good health. Confirm. I shall decrypt their data, interloper. May it bring you glory. But I have I have another task for you. It is almost the end. So we're getting star shield. Oh, wow. They got the star shield batteries and unstable plasma, which we already had. There is structure on this world, a depot of little consequence. But to the sentinels, gra, they will defend it to their last drone. Attack it, draw the ire of the sentinels, then our hunt can begin. While you are away, I shall create a powerful upgrade so that your weapon is fit for our great war. Yeah, you have no idea. Construct Glaping appears to have declined even further. This longing for the hunt seems to be the only thing keeping them alive. All right. Viking asks that I destroy a depot so that the Sentinels will seek us out. They promise to work on some sort of weapon upgrade, but I am while I'm away. Okay, let's accept that. Go. I will prepare your weapon, interloper. You can you can rely on my work. Okay. I'm going to give you a little hint at this point. If you haven't gone through this already, he's going to require... He's going to require two items, well, two of one item, in order to heal him when he gets sick enough. Uh, they are Viking daggers. There's a couple different ways to acquire them. The easiest way is to find a landing platform, find a Viking pilot, talk to them in trading, and 90% of the time, that's one of the items they will have on their people. And you can purchase them in quantities. Try to find two of them there. You can find them from some of this, the, the caches and stuff that you find on the planet, some of the cargo drops, but that's going to be a much lower percentage. So that's the way to do this. Now, I, while I started out talking about the fact that this was going to be a scientist-only run, 
it's going to be a little bit more than that. Obviously, we're hitting all of them at the same time. So we'll try to keep it go moving along quickly. And we'll retitle this most likely... Oh, interesting, an abandoned factory. Whoops, Whew, that was close. All right, it says it's going to be close by, or is that the depot? That is the depot. So what we can do is if we shoot at it right now, which we can take it out real quick with our with our guns, we will be attacked by sentinels in the air. And the problem with that is that they keep coming wave after wave after wave, and you can't land during that. So I suggest that you do it on foot, especially if you have a strong enough weapon. Ooh, condensed carbon. Must get. They'll investigate, but that's okay. Hi. How you doing? I don't want your Girl Scout cookies. Matter of fact, I take that back. I do want your Girl Scout cookies. And we're going to take it out with our guns. Ready? And they're going to attack immediately. So we're going to... I noticed there was a cave over here somewhere. Over this way. And we'll just find a way to hide from them. That's all. Or run away. I think we got them all. Yep, we did. Let's go. Okay, there we go. So we just get far enough away. Hey, while we're out here, we'll go ahead and grab some stuff. They shouldn't be able to see us anymore. Okay. Um, I have no countdown timer. Okay, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take this group out. Before he calls more in. Great. I think he's calling more in. Yep, he did. And I got a... I didn't want to do this. Oh, well. Where he jumps at me again. Always keep moving or else these guys will run right into you. Alright, that should call in group two. Grab the supplies as you can. You see how it says eight minutes? Look in a direction. Let them appear, and then run the other way. Okay. So now they're all the way behind me. Interesting. Why am I not getting a countdown timer? Okay. We're going to try to do something. They're really spreading out far. Look how they're spreading out. Good grief. I could head straight through. And they wouldn't even see me. Yeah. Oh, except for him. Nope. That's that guy. Oh, well. Let's see what happens. I guess that has been truncated. Alright, so we're gone. Yeah, they're not trying to attack me. Okay, well, I guess I could have done that earlier. I apologize. Man, there's so many places I could visit while I'm here. It's tempting. Okay, what else we got? Something else we can use, possibly? Let's see, you can only have three of these, so let's see, shield strength and fuel efficiency. 
Core health is more important. Same thirty one per cent, twenty four per cent. Meh. We could have sold it and got more out of it, but this way we get to keep some of it. Okay. Let's get out. Let's head to our weapons guy. Conscript. What do you have to say? I have detected them. Their eye is upon us. You have done it. You haven't you? Your actions have summoned them. Confirm. I am sorry, Interloper. I will not be able to assist you in your fight. I am too weak. Take this upgrade module and prepare for their arrival. Uh, plasma launcher. How oh, nice. Uh, hermetic seal and amino chamber. We can get them in the base that we're at. That's why I make my bases right next to the uh, the uh, minor settlements. They approach, but before the final fight, I have another task for you. I need to be strong to serve you. There is a substance, an offering freely given by the by the young to their elders, that may yet restore me. I myself spent years enmeshed with in the harvest circus. My organs sacrificing their enzymes for the fleet. I was glad to do so, but we need not repeat such torment today. Enzyme remnants found on Viking daggers should be enough to heal me now. Whatever sacrifice conscript glaping made for others, they do not appear to have reaped the same benefits in their old age. The Viking's body is scarred, their speech labored. I cannot imagine they will survive another year. The armor requires Viking daggers to prevent their further decline, so we're going to accept that request. The Viking appears relieved. They say nothing, but there is a look of hope beyond their tired, behind their tired eyes. <clears throat> so we got to get it. Should we craft that? I got the geology cannon, and I'm not really keen on keeping it, to be honest with you. It's great for harvesting stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. If you all are curious as to what it can do, you notice that I can't get it in the main three. But if I hit my center button, switch my alternate, I can switch to the geology cannon. And let's say we want to, I want to oh, aim away from crit critters here, this tree, for instance. You hit your right button, and it literally takes something out in one shot. But the damage could be significant if you aim at the ground close to you. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right. So I did get some carbon out of that and everything like that. But I'm going to go ahead and take that out. I probably should have just done that. Wasn't thinking. All right, let's build it. We're going to do the plasma launcher. You know what? I'm really not interested in plasma launcher, I'll be honest with you. They do some significant damage, but it's the same thing. It's an area effect, and it can hurt you. So let's get rid of this. Unpin the formula. You can get rid of that. See? And go back to weapons research. I got to collect the daggers. I need to find a trading outpost. So I'm going to pause the video here while I look for one and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So as you can see, I found myself a landing platform. All we have to do is wait for the right person to land. Now, since we're in a Viking system, that makes it so much easier since most of the pilots landing should be Viking. Looks like our first one is here. Let's see what he's got. And they only have one line. There you go. Look at that. He happens to have three of them. We're going to grab two. And we have what we need. Uh, should we grab anything else while we're here? Probably not really worth it, to be honest. So, oh, you know what, though? We do need someone for our freighter. Let's see. Let's check him out. Ooh, he's an S-Class, too. Fabulous. Let's go ahead and grab him. We'll recruit him. And he will go to our ship, and anytime we have a battle in the skies, he'll appear to help us out. So, awesome. Cost us a little bit of a pretty penny, you know, keeping in mind that we lost some money on the transaction. But, hey, it's worth it. And we have our Viking daggers. Shall we? We're going to head back to my base now. Now, my base... Just to give you a rough idea how far I had to go, I had to go about five minutes away by ship in order to find it. So, But if we go into space now that I can get my way back, we will pulse drive my way. Ah, you know what? We don't need to pulse drive. 
let's just say up high towards these clouds right here as the curve gets closer hey look at that he appeared and joined us because probably he's thinking we were going to get attacked because you notice on the right hand side the sentinels are still on high alert we're just not being attacked in such a way because that was part of the mission there we go and he will leave while we're landing and he's gone already if i turn around and look nowhere to be seen just to give you a rough idea in case you were wondering does he stick around no he doesn't so guess what i have not been idle in your absence until i've crafted another upgrade module for your ship but the daggers i can smell the battle enzyme from across the room give them to me you give the daggers Viking takes the dagger and plunges it into their own arm. They immediately revive, their spirits restored. And we got a cadmium drive. How sweet. So now we can go to red systems. See, I told you we didn't have to get those upgrades. Now we are ready, interloper. The sentinels are here, and you shall head out to meet them. This day shall be glorious, traveler, as it has been before and shall be again. The Viking looks at me with pride. I seem to have proved, provided them with renewed purpose. Of this, I am glad. But placing my world under threat... Getting me to summon so many sentinels for pointless battle. When I am back, I will need to speak to the armorer about the future. The armorer warns me that this that multiple sentinel forces have arrived near our home. I must defeat them. Guess what? We're going to go into battle mode now, folks. We're going to enjoy a nice little battle that I'll have with the sentinels. Rah, 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 rah. Okay. Here we go. I don't need that. Wow, it's giving me all the weapons for the ships, too. That's sweet. See, this is actually the sub... Events are actually worth doing. Uh, I'm not going to put the positron. Positron ejectors are great. They're the shotgun of the stars, but you have to be close in order to have provide the significant amount of damage. That's why I choose the Infernife Accelerator. It's, you can get damage, the same damage from a distance that you can get up close. So I'm going to unpin the far, that, go back to weapons research. Let's do one last thing because I find that I use a lot of ammunition when I'm fighting the Sentinels. Uh, ammunition. I'm going to get two more levels of it since we can afford it. We're all set. We don't need to reload. And you see that they're already outside. I always like to stay up high. In order to be able to see my surroundings a little bit better. And they will always appear in the direction your character is facing. Or your camera is facing, I should say. One gone. Two gone. Where's everybody else? Are they literally waiting for those to arrive? Well, they're already here. You can do it from the platform, too. The bar will actually stop the quads I'm going to let them get a little closer so I can acquire these things there we go looks like there's one more coming out of the ground over here buddy Okay, is that going to cool? Yep, there's the reinforcements. Remain in the area to confront reinforcements. Time remaining. So we have to really take all these guys out. See, the camera was facing in this direction. That's where they appear from. Take out the healer. Take out the support guy. Take out this guy. And take out that guy. Reload. Oh, I lied. There we go. Now it's stopped. Of course I'm going to get a phone call in the middle of all this. Muting for just a second, folks, while the next wave comes in.
Yep. Not important. Amazing that I'm going to get a phone call in the middle of a broadcast, huh? Okay, and you. What dropped? Oh, hi there. Get rid of the reinforcements. Get rid of the healer. Back up from this guy because of his flamethrower. Now, I don't know if he'll jump on the platform with you. But, again, if your weapon's powerful enough, you shouldn't have trouble with these guys. Leave the area or hide before reinforcements arrive. Why? Come on. They arrived behind me? There they are. Let's take these guys out before they give me any trouble. Okay, see, the healer's already healing that guy faster than I can do damage. Get rid of the healers. That weapon is dangerous to you. It will hurt you, but... See? One, as soon as you take out his legs, he's disabled. Aim a couple at his head. And then take out the other leg. Before he starts waking back up again. There we go. And now we can take out the rest of his head. Now I would jump on top of him and hit him from above, but no reason to. As you can see, piece of cake. And I've disabled the entire Sentinel network. Very nice, huh? Let's pick up some goods. And more importantly... One, two. You get two walker brains out of that. And there we go. We're all set. 60 sentinels. 70 sentinels. Dee -dee 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 -dee. 80 sentinels. So we've reached maximum capacity on that. All 10 levels. Destroyer of glass. <laughs> oh, I love a good sentinel battle. Hope you enjoyed that. <clears throat> Let's talk to this guy again. You survived where Herc fell, Traveler. Forgive me, I was wrong. My whole life I was wrong. It is not the dead that deserve our service. It is the living. It is you, Traveler. It is you and you alone. Yes, I've impressed him. The Viking promises not to cause any more trouble for the base, apologizing profusely, telling me that the living deserve service more than the dead, that I, am espe that I especially am worthy of their aid. The armor rewards me with a token of my great victory. Accept the reward. It has been an honor to serve you, Traveler. Go on in glory. Combat scope. I won't install it. It's not worth my time. Rah, Traveler. I've been inspired by your actions to craft a multi-tool of great power. Would it please you to examine it? I'm going to examine it. I've never been impressed before. Behold, Traveler. Now it's an A-class. That isn't too shabby, but it's always in disrepair, and you got to fix the crap out of it in order to get it up to some semblance of normality. That looks like we got a bolt caster, mining lasers, it's nothing special. I'll compare it. I could take it and hang on to it, which I'm going to go ahead and do. But you got to remember that it becomes your main weapon at this point. So go in here, switch back over to, well, crap, which one is it? Garbage. Garbage. Force obstructor. Conceptual isotope driver. That's the one I'm on right now. Let's see what this one is. Huh. I forgot I had this. Ooh. Paralysis mortar. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. See, that's one thing you can do, is you can go into these tools and pull stuff out of them that you could use. Not worth it. Damaged. Okay. I forgot all about that. Let me do that real quick here. Let me pause for just a second. I'll be right back. And we're back. So what I did here is I went ahead and cleaned up my inventory a little bit. Uh, 
cleaned everything out of it and my starship reorganized things a little bit real quick while we were off camera so basically off camera yeah you know what i mean um so basically we have completed that storyline in regards to this i'm not going to install the combat scope um you'll notice that my uh warrior missions are gone <clears throat> weapons terminal missions are gone we're done with them so weapons missions have been completed the scientific research could continue but it's going to be a while yet i still got 31 minutes to complete that so it becomes the longest mission so what we could do is go to expanding our base and go back to the overseer and complete the next set of missions which i'll do in the next video so we're going to go ahead and do that next and i'm going to go ahead and end this one this one will be called the the weapons master um missions and we're going to go ahead and end the video here so again Hit that like button, subscribe if you really appreciate some of the information that's being presented. I hope you enjoyed the uh, uh, Nanite one that I had, uh, it, it, that I decided to come out with yesterday. It was a very interesting uh, concept. I like what uh, Beeblebum and the rest of those guys have uh, broadcasted. I'm sure many other people don't know about this, but it's, it's worthy to keep repeating that this is the best way to get some Nanites. So at this time, folks, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Again, hit that like, subscribe if you've never had before. Really appreciate it. It really supports the channel. Thank you again. Always be, uh, always be kind to others when you can. Never criticize kindness and always be truthful to yourself. Thank you very much. Take care.